Hey, good day, friends. I hope everybody is well today on this weekend. Uh, the 27th of March, 2023. Hope you're well. I'm going to show you now the suspension upgrade uh, on my Challenger that I'm doing and some of the damaged components. Do you know it had some clunking noises on the car? Look at that damaged, ripped bushing right there. More damaged, ripped bushings on the other one. They're all very loose. All tremendously loose. One of the biggest problems I've had or challenges was getting the lower ball joints, <clears throat> the lower rear ball joints pressed out with my 20 ton press. I was able to be successful in doing that, but I had to really rig up some drifts to really punch it out nicely. So what this kit is consisting of, so of course I'm not done yet, nothing's tight. Lower control arm, outer tie rod end, new inner tie rod end, front lower control arm. All of them have new ball joints. The new upper control arms, all with new bushings, new ball joints with grease fittings. Um, new 30 millimeter sway bar bushings. Compared to the old ones, these are much, much fatter and better and newer and more serviceable. But the part that I want to show you now and, and share with fellow Dodge Challenger, Dodge Charger owners is the right upper control arm, rear mounting bolt on the other side, an 18 millimeter, that is almost impossible to gain access to because from the top, on the inside of the engine compartment, there's two thick cables wiring harnesses that are right there in the way. You can't really get a, uh, it's an 18 millimeter. You can't really get a wrench behind there. You need to get a small short wrench. I went out and bought, um, da, 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 where is it? Right here. I bought this one, 18 millimeter. What it, it needs to have is the, the head needs to be curved up more and the box end needs to be curved back more. It needs to be, instead of straight, it needs to have a bend in each end so I can get access from the top. But since I can't do that, I'm trying to come from underneath it and right up in there, let me zoom in. Let me show you just how difficult this is to get to. Okay, I'm under the car. This is on the right side. Trying to get the camera up in there. Okay, there it is right there. Let me zoom in. Right there at the top left-hand corner. Let's see here. It's not wanting to focus. Right there. Right there, center mass of the screen. The camera is refusing to focus on the nut. It wants to focus on the fuel line, but that's the best we can do. Right there. That is a very troubling nut to get to. So, I've opted to pull the exhaust pipe off. Where is it? Uh, where's the exhaust pipe? Okay, right here. Opted to pull this off, but I don't want to pull the whole system off. So I'm gonna to have to tomorrow cut it here, remove both pieces, then reinstall it and weld it back up to get that one 
troubling nut off and then getting the nut back on. I might tack weld it in place, but I doubt I will be able to do that. So my friends, this is the uh, a troubling uh, part, challenging part of this car doing this job. It's a, uh, it, it is a bit, uh, it is a bit troubling. Now also part of the job I've done, I've changed the motor mounts right there, right there. And I have not been able to find the transmission mount yet. It is available. It was superseded with a new number, but uh, none of the dealers have it. So it's gonna have to be ordered. Amazon does not have it either. So, you just have to make do, make the best we can do with this situation. Also, the I just want to, I'm, I'm just really kind of amazed, impressed. The front calipers on the base car are dual piston. They're only one side, but they're still dual piston. They're not uh, SRT brakes. You know, Hellcat brakes, it's just a standard, uh, standard RT. So, um, needless to say, I'm not, I'm not displeased at all with this car. So, all the clinking noises will be gone on this vehicle, which, which has been really annoying. Backing up, going over bumps, having it go clunk, clunk, it's very annoying as you people out there know if you have these cars. car This car's got like 110,000 miles on it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's time to do all this. It's time to change everything out. So this is all new stuff here and I got to put that new upper control arm on tomorrow. Or maybe just Monday. Maybe Monday because I've got to do my taxes. <laughs> it's that time of the year, my friends. Tax time. Juice, be good. Do good. Remember, your thoughts, our thoughts, are like a spotlight in our mind. You gotta keep those thoughts good. You gotta keep them on high vibrations. And then you're going to find new people to associate with that have those same vibrations. And you're going to eliminate the dead weights. But the dead weights are going to try to cling on to you if you're vibrating on that higher state. So be, just be ready for it. Always going to help out our fellow man. Juice, bye-bye.